guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I think this is possibly my first DIY like home renovation video for my YouTube channel. Definitely not my first home renovation project though, but I'm excited to kind of share this on video and capture this for you because I think it's gonna be a really great makeover. Now this isn't like a big DIY like construction project. I'm really just giving my master bathroom a facelift to take it from construction grade to kind of like a more modern farmhouse look and just add some character to this space. So here is our beautiful toilet closet, as my husband calls it. I mean, it's not a bad space. It has really nice high ceilings. These are probably 10 foot ceilings in here, which does help it not feel really claustrophobic. But I mean, essentially, it's a closet with a toilet in it. And I mean, I love having that feature that the toilet's kind of off from the master bath because if you go this direction, you're in the master bathroom. My plan is a board and batten wall all the way around. I'm gonna be painting that white. It's actually gonna be um, a color by Magnolia Home called Shiplap, which I've also used in my kitchen cabinets. And then I have a light gray, which is another Magnolia Home color called Gathering that I am painting throughout the entire rest of the bathroom and these walls. And that is the game plan. So I need to go to Home Depot and get all my materials. That is my next step. I'm hoping to get this project done in two days. And I think I can get this done in that amount of time, possibly. My biggest problem with that is, I don't know if you can see this situation. <laughs> so I'm about 19 weeks pregnant, which typically second trimester for me is super awesome. But I've been really tired still for this pregnancy, so I'm going to do what I can. I really am excited to get this project done, so let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I'm at Home Depot. I have my list and a really good sketch of my bathroom. So I'm getting all the boards right now for the board and batten wall. I'm also going to buy a new nail gun. I don't have one at all. I have a staple gun, but I'm going to get one that's strong enough to actually uh, put boards into the wall. I think it's called like a finishing gun, but not a pneumatic one. I don't want to mess with an air compressor. Um, so I'm going to try to get that. I have my kids with me and I got to get more paint. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff for the floating shelves over the toilet. So it's a lot of things. Um, I gotta mask up. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I'll give you an update when we get home. Okay, I'm back from Home Depot. That was exhausting. It literally took like an hour and a half. I don't know. I, I waste a lot of time in Home Depot, not willingly. I really uh, actually despise shopping there. Hashtag not sponsored, did you notice? <laughs> but Home Depot, call me. I love all the stuff I get from Home Depot, but finding the things that I actually need, are, it's just such a pain. So I'm always like the one that uses every worker around me. I just want to give you guys a really good before shot before I get to work. Alright, I thought I'd stop there and give you guys a little bit of an update. So, so far I have all the gray trimmed out. Um, on the, the part here where the trim, where the board and batten top rail will go, I have that all double coated with the gray and then I have all my corners and my ceiling trimmed out so that tomorrow I can just come back through with a roller and finish up the gray pretty quickly. Um, but you know, making some progress. If I get the horizontal boards in tonight, I would feel pretty happy about day one. I want to show you my new toy too. So this is a um, brad nailer that I got at Home Depot today. This is the Ryobi brand, which is spelled like that, R-Y-O-B-I. And this is a brad nailer that doesn't need an air compressor. It is kind of heavy though. Ugh. I mean, it's, it's probably, like, it's gotta be like five pounds with the battery in. Um, and it can do five eighth, inch brad nailers or brad nails up into i think it says right here actually two inches and i just tested it out so far on some test boards and it seems really powerful it has like eleven thousand reviews on home depot's website and so for 99 dollars, i felt like this is a really good deal i didn't really tell you before but for my top horizontal boards i'm using a one by four the actual measurement is closer to like 0.75 inches deep by 
like three and a half inches, I want to say, for a one by four. And this is going to be all along the, the top rail of my board and batten. Okay, quick update of progress so far. I have every board nailed in, ready to go, except for this one here because I have to wait for those um, holes to dry there. That was where the old toilet paper holder was and I needed to shift it over. So this board needs to go there, about. But I have every other vertical board in and ready to go. I mean, I'm not saying it looks great so far, but I am really glad to have all that work done because that was just a lot more time consuming than I expected. Next step is going to be to go back through and fill all the nail holes. And I also need to caulk all the seams and kind of see like some places where it's pulling away from the wall. So the caulk is going to hide all that. And then we'll finally be ready to paint. I do think though that while I'm letting the nail holes dry, I'm going to go ahead and hang the shelf up that I have for over the toilet. I didn't end up buying something new like I told you I would. I actually am repurposing a shelf that I had hanging by our bathtub. It's a really, really primitive antique shelf. It was actually like in pieces when I bought it because if you don't know, I actually sell antiques and I have an antique booth. So this was something that we had bought like at an auction, my mom and I, and it was just in these pieces. So I reassembled it. It's very primitive, but it's gonna give that wood tone that I want in this room, something a little more rustic that's not just all like brand new and shiny and white. Um, so I'm gonna put that up there. So while the caulk is drying, I'm gonna work on hanging that shelf because that's, in my opinion, the much funner part of the process is uh, decorating things up. I also desperately need to vacuum, but I have to wait till I'm done sanding the nail holes before I can do that. So. We're getting there, I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, but a few more things to do. Okay, I have all the nail holes filled, all the edges are caulked. It looks so much nicer when you have those gaps filled in. Really happy with how that looks. Okay guys, this bathroom reno is complete. I'm taking you through entering from my master bedroom and you take a left and here is the brand new toilet room. I'm so happy with how it turned out. The board and batten was tricky and I mean, I made quite a bit of a mess with the cough. But if you don't look too close, it really does look Nice, it looks pretty well done. I think, I mean, a professional would have been better, of course, but I think as far as like a woodworking project for myself, this is 
Definitely the best one I've ever done. I got this little area rug at Target. It was in the Christmas section though, so I don't know if they're gonna have it much longer. I also got the copper trash can at Target. The shelf, I think I talked about earlier, but it's just a wood shelf that I had gotten from an auction. So it's a real antique, um, but I love the character that it brings to the room. So I have some toilet paper stored on there. Um, a little closer for you. I think the little succulents are from Ikea. Just a jar of cotton balls, some cotton pads, um, an antique copper or container. Um, that little white enamel pitcher is from Ikea also, and then this wreath is from Hobby Lobby. And so this is just everything all put together. If you're looking for a really subtle gray, I really recommend this color. If there's one thing I might change though, now that everything's done, and I've been living with it for a couple days now, um, I actually think a really bold color would have been nice in here. Um, either on the board and batten section or the upper wall. I think it looks really pretty like it is and I'm probably not going to change it just because there's other projects I'd rather work on in the house at this point and I think this looks nice. Um, but I do think a pop of color would have been nice also. So either do like a bold darker gray or even a dark green on the upper wall or even like the very, I've seen like really dark gray board and batten that's really pretty. So there's a lot of paint options there. I feel like I played it pretty safe. And I know like I talked about earlier, this is a house that we would like to sell at some point. I don't know why I'm moving back to the focus there. So I feel like keeping things kind of neutral is, is a good idea. So yeah, I hope you liked this before and after. I. I'm super pleased with how it looked. And now I told you that my next video was gonna be uh, renovating the rest of the master bed bathroom, but I actually went ahead and painted the walls because I had the same gray color out. So I'm just gonna walk you through what I've done so far. I'm backing back out now to my master bedroom. So these rugs were just, the green one I've, I've had for a while, it's from uh, Restoration Hardware, I think but I got it secondhand from an estate sale. That's another one of the Target game rugs down there. Um, so all we've done so far in here is paint that same very light gray on the walls. And it's made a huge difference in the room because you can see up here where we haven't painted yet. The color that was here was just the construction grade, um, flat off white paint. It was so dingy in here and it wasn't doing any sort of water protection for our walls. So having that gray, um, it's really made the space nice and clean. And now it's a satin finish compared to the older flat finish, which just looks really nice. Um, I like how the gray is still really light and bright, but it's enough of a contrast with the white that like now the trim pops and the white tile in here pops. So it was just enough color to give a little bit more character to the room without making the room feel darker. Um, I put this basket here just to put our hand towels. I would not say at all that this room is complete, but we have kind of started phase one, which was getting the paint up. I put a couple um, farmhouse finishes around. So I just got this really cute print from Hobby Lobby. I only paid 10 bucks for it. Um, and I just feel like it pulled a lot of the colors together that I like a lot. Um, hello, there we are. On this side I hung um, just a chalkboard. I put a little wreath on it and then I added these hooks to the bottom so I can hang on my Norwex washcloths there. I'm taking this video today because my bathroom is never this clean. Um, so like I said, I wouldn't say this is a finished project because I really don't love the color of the wood with this color of countertop. I'm not gonna change the countertop, that's much too expensive, so I might end up painting this wood at some point. Um, also, this our house is about five years old and every faucet is slowly starting to leak. So these ones haven't leaked yet, but the shower, the shower faucet over here has started to leak, and then in our guest bathroom, this exact same faucet started to leak, and our kitchen faucet started to leak. So I feel like um, soon, these will get replaced. 
I got a really cute black faucet at Lowe's that I love so much, so I would love to switch the faucets to black um, at some point. And then I absolutely hate the light fixtures, but I might just paint them black. It's really hard to tell, but they're more like that aged bronze right now, which I don't feel like goes with anything else in the house. And then this section of wall up here hasn't been painted. I know it's hard to tell because all the colors are so light, but I think it'd be kind of cool to do like some kind of accent up there. So either um, carrying on the tile because we're going to have to retile our shower or doing some kind of like wood shiplap or some kind of planking up there. But now that I have it painted and I have a couple like cute farmhouse things around, I'm feeling like this is less of an urgent project for me and I'm ready to move on to some other parts of the house. So for now, I feel like we're, we're content with the bathroom. All right guys, that's it for this renovation. I hope you really enjoyed the whole process. If you have any other questions about anything that I did in the video and anything I didn't give you enough details about, please feel free to ask the questions in the comments below. I'm also gonna have some of the product information and the paint color information down in the description box if that's something that you need. Um, besides that though, that's everything for this room. I'm also gonna be doing my nursery really soon, so that's something I'm really looking forward to. But I really hope you like this video. I hope you'll stick around for the next one and I will see you then. Thank you so much, bye.